In this video, we are going to be going over the full orchestra template, or what would be called the full orchestra template in Finale, which is basically the entire orchestra. So this is generally what we have. We have piccolo at the top. Piccolo is the highest woodwind instrument that we have, and then we have flutes one and two below that. Then going into mid woodwinds, oboe one and two. And typically like this, to save space, you will see one and two, one and two, or one and two, three and four in the case of horn and F, uh, a split between two different uh, stabs only. Um, unless you want, you know, a, a specific template where you want horn and F1, horn and F2, horn and F3, horn and F4, unless you want those all on separate ones. But we have piccolo, flute one and two, oboe one and two, and then we have the English horn, which is an additional instrument that we didn't see in chamber orchestra that is here, typically. Um, clarinet and B-flat, we have one and two on one staff, and then we have bass clarinet. So now we're heading into the bass woodwinds. Bass clarinet, bassoon, and contrabassoon follow this. So then we have our brass, beginning with the lightest brass instrument sounding, horn and F, one, two, three, four. And also, one of the reasons that horn and F comes after the woodwinds, before the trumpets, is because in woodwind choirs, there's actually a uh, French horn in there. So, French horn was used to be uh, substituted in for maybe a woodwind instrument that people didn't have or composers didn't have access to. So that's why it's up there. And then we have trumpets in B flat or C, one on one staff and then two and three on the other. It's typically how it's uh, worked out. Then we have the same for trombone, one, two on one staff and then bass trombone, trombone three on the third. Then we have tuba. Then we have our pitch percussion, timpani, and other pitch percussion here. The non-pitch uh, non percussion rather comes after. There's usually one, two, or more parts in there. Then we have harp and or piano here. You could substitute for either one. And then we've got Violin one, violin two, viola, cello, and bass for strings. So that's typically the order of the orchestra here. Um, there are other configurations which we can go over in uh, other videos. Uh, like there's a concert orchestra, there's a pit orchestra. Uh, I can just briefly show you uh, some of those as well. And you'll see how these score orders can vary a little bit, but they're generally the same uh, in terms of high versus low instruments and uh, woodwinds, uh, brass, and percussion. Those are the that's the main those are the main things that stay the same in the score order for orchestra. It's just those. Um, groupings stay the same, but you can have um, other groups like here. You can have uh, go up to templates and you can basically have it go to uh, different ones. Like here you can have it where it goes to You can have full orchestra, you can have pit orchestra. Um, pit orchestra normally has something different in it, usually. So, usually the pit orchestra is basically the orchestra that's on the floor in the pit. 
when they're doing things like operas. So you'll see that a lot. And sometimes it's a stripped down version of the full orchestra. And it just depends on what you've got. Now you've got uh, your reed instruments, uh, your horns, that kind of thing. And then you have uh, the different different classifications. You have reeds, you have uh, F-horn, trumpets, trombone, drum set, and then you have your mallet percussion. You even have guitar and bass guitar around here. You have keyboards, and then you have your percussion. Then you have violin uh, one and two. Actually, the correction. Drum set and mallets go first before the guitars and bass guitars, and then the whatever the vocal parts are, if there are vocal parts, those go there, followed by the keyboard parts, followed by violin one and two, viola, cello, and bass. So there's different, different uh, configurations of this, but the general template of woodwinds, followed by brass, followed by pitched percussion, followed by non-pitched percussion, uh, followed by harp slash piano slash synthesizer, you, you can group that all together, followed by strings. That's the general orchestral order uh, that, that basically is in all orchestral forms. Um, so in that case, you have those two to look forward. And I may, uh, since this may or may not show, um, I want to put these score orders actually in the resources section after every video so that you can see um, what they are and how they're arranged. Okay, so I will see you in the next video um, where we talk about the more modern orchestra and also we're going to talk about band score orders later.